What's up guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Elena. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. I'm going to be walking through like all the steps. I'm testing some new products today. Let's just get right into trying new stuff. I'm just going to prep the skin first. I had a little bit of oil on my skin, so I'm just going to cleanse. I'm going to spray my face just to prep it a little bit. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to take some of that. For primer today, I'm going to be testing the new Morphe foundation primer. This one is the equalizer. This one is supposed to smooth and mattify your face. I don't really like matte primers, but I'm going to just test it today. My skin feels super smooth right now. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade Nude. So I know this foundation is a really good match for me because they matched me at the NYX store, which is really interesting. She had this little device that like actually gets your skin tone and she tested like my forehead, my cheek, and my neck. So I knew it was gonna be like a perfect match. And I think this is a pretty good match, so we'll see right now. This is the new Morphe M439. Actually, I don't know if this is new. Um, it came in that new set with their new foundation. So, I'm going to use it. Okay, that's covered. Okay. <laughs> I did not realize how full coverage this was. So, just bear with me while I share this out. <laughs> I really don't like a full coverage look just because I feel like it masks my skin and I just have too much texture. Okay, this color is really nice. Um, like I said, it does really match me, so that's good. I was able to really sheer it out and I still feel like it's full coverage. I kind of use a lot of pumps. I didn't realize how many pumps I put. It feels like it's already like setting on its own. For eye primer today, I'm going to be using something that I haven't used in so long. And to be completely honest, I probably have never really tried it, like for real tried it. I've had it in my makeup collection for so long and I just haven't really tested it out. So we're going to do that today. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. So I think I'm just going to take a bit on my finger. Just a little. I don't want to use too much. Okay, it's kind of getting dry on my lids, but we're just going to keep going and pretend like that's not happening. <laughs> For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Morphe Brunch Babe eyeshadow palette. So the first one I'm going to go into is the shade Weekend. I'm just going to use that to kind of set it, kind of put into my crease. Uh, the next shade I'm going to go into is Race Wrestle. Raisa. I'm just going to start sticking that on the outer corner. I'm not doing any kind of like fancy look. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the first brush I use and just go over everything. Dipping into the shade Parfait. This is the pink shade in the palette. I'm going to start adding that to the outer corners. Okay, going back in again with that brown, just gonna blend a bit. I'm also gonna take the pink on the blending brush. And then going back in with the big brush. So 
So I feel like this shade takes a lot of building up, which can be a good or a bad thing. I kind of like a natural makeup, you know, if I'm looking for that at the moment. But, you know, of course, if I was looking for like a hot pink shade, that's not going to be it. So not bad, but not the best either. I'm going to go into the darker browns now. This is the shade Patio. I'm just going to create a little wing. So I'm going into the black shade, which is called Black Coffee. I'm just going to go over right what I just did. I'm not doing like a special kind of eye look. This is super basic and simple. I have been really liking simple, easy makeup. Hmm, let's take the shade Squad. It's like a pinky purpley shade. I am gonna wet my brush though. I'm gonna take the same Morphe setting spray. This shade is nice. Okay, I'm just covering up all that liner right now, but I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, this shade works really good with your finger. Okay, I'm just going to blend the edges with the pink. Okay, I'm going to fix up my liner really quick. This is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. Sun is coming in. So, if it looks a little weird, that's why. Taking more of the black. I'm just doing a thin line across my lash line just for a little bit of definition and then I'm taking the black shadow in the palette it's called black coffee and I'm just blending that line For mascara, I'm using False Lashes Mascara by Essence. Now let's move on to lashes. So these are our Morphe Hypnotic Lashes. Oh, I'm getting excited. This is like my favorite part because it's like, you know, this is where you see the whole look coming together. For concealer today, I'm going to be using something like I've already been using, Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. And I'm in the shade Almond. This came in the set with that other Morphe brush that I used for foundation, and this is the M173. For contour, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Dark Cocoa, which could be a little too dark for me. So I'm going to take that. Oh yeah, this is dark. Jeez, wish me luck. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is turning south. No. Okay, I'm just going to work with that because <laughs> this is really dark. I didn't realize how dark it was. going to go over with my foundation brush I'm going to use RCMA no color powder just a light amount of powder so I have already tried this Morphe filter effect finishing powder I bought mine in the shade Filter 9, which is like a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I thought this would be perfect for 
you know, bronzing and contouring. And I know I haven't, I still haven't done my brows. Don't be scared, I didn't forget. So I like this finishing powder because it's pretty sheer. And it just gives me like, you know, the right amount of color. And I can build it up without going crazy. I'm gonna go in with my Shade and Light Contra Palette. So this is Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. I'm gonna take some of that same RCMA powder, go right underneath here. Oh, by the way, this is that sponge that came in with the set um, with the foundation brush and the concealer brush. A lot of people don't like to mess with anything but the beauty blender, like the actual beauty blender, you know? All my other sponges, my knockoff sponges, are way better than that. So I'm taking this Rad Rouge blush by LA Colors. It's like the super pinky shade. I love pinky blushes and I just love blush in general. I'm trying to hurry because the sun is setting. Like it's legitimately setting behind me right now. And kind of like in my face. This is MAC Double Gleam. I'm gonna take NYX Brow Pencil in Taupe. Taking Morphe Makeup Talk and the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Praline. Let me set this makeup. Uh, I'm going to use this Catrice Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I'm going to go over with some more highlight. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I will be sure to upload more this year. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!